Right, is it working? Stream health seems to be in order. Recording is starting. And so far it looks good. Great. Well, welcome to my let's play, let's stream, I don't know, uh, of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, I know this game is pretty old, but I really, really wanted to play it at some point. And... Yeah, I think it doesn't fit in the normal format, and I just want to plow through this like a madman. So, yeah, I... And while I'm doing that, I try to stream in glorious 180p and 60 frames per second, and want to see how much of a quality loss I would get if I only have 8,000 kilobits uh, at my disposal to actually show. I hope the stream health will stay on top, so, yeah, I actually started it. I did the first mission already, and it was hilarious. I really had a great time. I may upload that first session I ever did on this game as well, because, well, uh, there were a lot of fails in the beginning because I haven't figured out how to actually fight uh, the thing I will face there. And, yeah, I deleted the old save just because I wanted to have a clean startup and yeah okay the options should be like they were in the beginning oh no of course not uh oh because i i deactivated the <laughs> i deleted my save file so that's good to know well then do i have to change the, this option as well no, no blur. I hate, I personally don't like blur effects. They take away from the crisp look of the action that's going on. So, I always deactivate most blur things. And yeah, I want my camera to be as fast as possible. And, and in the beginning I had a few problems with the game as well, because this game, with all of my controllers, had an odd behavior. But I will explain that as soon as I start this. And so far, everything seems to be cool. Uh, new game, normal difficulty, and I don't need this tutorial this time. Because I don't know what I'm doing. so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Oh, man. 
This is absolutely awesome the first time I saw it. I will definitely upload the first session I had with this because this scene is just amazing. Ah, oh, shit, my mouse is visible. God damn it. Open fire! Who was that? A cyborg. One of our competitors? Courtney, what is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get on money out of there. Yes, sir. High heels of justice. Alright, I have to fix this now. Um, properties, hello, to, to capture, no, don't capture my cursor. And what was the other thing I wanted to do? Was there even a different, no, I think that's it. Alright, there we go. So, now I can show you what problems I had. I couldn't use this, the free blade mode. The game didn't, did not consider my, my inputs, my, my white analog stick didn't work with every controller I had. Of course you can use this as well, but my white controller hasn't worked the first time I played this game. I couldn't, I couldn't do this, I couldn't swing everything around. Ow, dig! Fuck you, man! Well, this is faster, but I need the free blade mode for something specific later on. And it seems to be that... Uh, that this... That recording this game really drains uh, my CPU. Because I can't even have stable frames right now for some reason. Okay, bam! Boom, baby! Nope! Oh, fuck. Good thing is, while I... Whoa, what? This had never happened before! I still... I know how... I don't know how most combos work. But, oh god, my frame rate is tanking because of this and because I record the game. Okay, bam! So even though this game is pretty old, it's still kind of a stress test for my 
for, for my everything. I don't know if it's really... Well, my CPU is quite high right now, and I don't really know why, but... Maybe I really need a new CPU as well. I don't know, though. I don't know if I should already get a new CPU just because this game... can't keep up with my CPU is too high. And then comes... Metal Gear Way or Wax? I don't know. It's a Metal Gear, that's all we need to know. Plasma cannon, no less. And now comes the part where I fucked up immensely because I didn't understood what I, I was supposed to do. Well, not yet. I mean, first of all, badass scene. Oh, this is just brutal. Well, they are, they are all cyborgs, so, well, no, they are not cyborgs. Are they androids or cyborgs? I'm not actually sure. I know Wyden is a cyborg. with the Prime Minister. I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. And here we go. Because what I didn't expect this enemy to be is you can actually counter him. You can wait for him to come at you. Oh! oh. Fuck! There! And now I can actually fuck him up! I can actually counter block him. Whoa! Oh god damn it. Um okay. When that doesn't work. Yeah, I go for the leg now. I just have to wait for him to open there oh God fucking damn it. Don't give me that. Uh oh. This is a little bit too close to be comfortable. Oh! Yeah, okay. I take that. Yeah, I really like this. And I even can't use the free blade mode now. This is even better. Well then. Now, ah, fuck. Don't go away like that. I'm really happy that the ninja and samurai is a weird combination though. I mean, on the one hand he seems to be a samurai, and on the other hand he is not. Come on, open your leg. There we go. Thank you. Bam. This is something I didn't got. I was slicing his legs and just evaded those attacks. 
Okay. So, I am not sure what I was supposed to do now. Oh, what? I did that, but what? Ah, oh, come on. I was hitting more times than I should. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm really careless right now. To be frank. I try, I try. Hey, dodge it. Okay, dodge it again. Whoa, there we go. Oh, and here we go. Listen to the music. Absolutely, this is adrenaline. It is at its finest. I mean, very good, but do not rest easy just yet, This is at least still a better combat rank than I got the first time. Wait, I'm I'm severely hurt. Can I uh, regenerate somehow? I know I can regenerate with little pieces of items. That may or may not lie around. But, oh, god damn it. I was really hoping for something to heal me up. Otherwise, I maybe die once. It'd be actually nice of the game if they would have healed me. I mean. Okay, now this is just a warning section. Where they basically teach you that you can do this. Ninja dash, ninja run, and if you hold the button, this looks cool like parkour. Okay. Ah, fuck. Okay, and now, surprise is coming in. I thought it was over. Well, nope, there he is again. What is a different one? No, it's the same one. It still works? I think it's not really a Metal Gear. Okay. Whoa! Okay, I have to... Fuck! I know I can't slide under it. There we go. What? Oh, come on! I blocked you, you little piece of garbage! Oh. Oh fuck. Use blade mode to take down those head missiles. Whoa! Yeah, blade mode! I think I can't heal myself right now. Oh come on! I can't get a good hit on him! Normally you're supposed to block him, but it doesn't work for some reason. There we go. This is already better. I, j I think I just slash away on him right now. As long as I can. Whoa. Oh yeah, now this shit is happening. Oh, it's healing! Yes! I'm at 100%. There we go! Yeah! <laughs> Finally! I couldn't... I blocked, but he didn't hit me. His hitbox was totally off. But it's not the first time that happened. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, he does the same shit again! Oh, wait. Well done. Actually, I can just do this. Right. 
Oh. What? Come ah, on, just I already. Are you serious? Oh, he is serious. Okay. What? What happened there? Oh no! Mom, I this is so hard to dodge, you little prick! And now this is cool. Bam! This is so amazing. This scene. <laughs> he thinks it's over, but surprise, bitch! I can't do anything about that, though. But they started the game off really, really good. Okay, this is a little bit of a tricky part, because you can die if a missile hits you. Well, it seems obvious, but maybe you will see that I'm getting hit. But it seems like I did it. Oh, the yeah! I really dig the music that comes with those QDE. Oh, you have no idea how much I love that music. Oh, come on! Fuck! Combat rank B, really? Oh, fuck you too, game. Wow, even if I know what I'm doing, the game fucks me over by not letting me do what I'm supposed to do. Ugh. By the way, the pre-rendered cutscenes are all 30, f 30 frames per second, and not 60. O only, only when I play, the, the frames go up to 60. Because I think on the console it was kept to 30 frames per second, but they ported it and enabled us to get 60 frames out of it. Even though I can't even hold 60 frames at all times, because I'm recording and streaming at the same time. And that limits a little bit how much frames are available. Come on, jump over it. Unidentified field drone. And I can't do it. Huh. Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little seal here any longer. Oh, this is just Oh, what's up? I hate this scene. <laughs> What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, oh. a common purpose? Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. You ain't listening. That's a dumb line. Oh, you're saying. Give war a chance! And that must hurt like a bitch, too. No.
by the way, the stream is delayed very severely by, I think, 10 to 12 seconds by now. <laughs> for the sole reason that I stream with such a high... With such high of kilobits per second. Okay, and this fight is unbeatable. Unfortunately. Let's go. Don't be shy. Fuck. Well, at least I want to look like stylish. Still try my best at least. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Admit you're a killer. <laughs> That also hurts like a bit. <laughs> Shit, not again. Red, are you all right? You're almost uh, clear no. of the tunnel. Just hang out. Gotta try hard on that. Can't even see anymore. Bye. Oh. This is all the Ripper has to offer. <laughs> this is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. Still kill me if you wanted to. Dumb 
Disadvantage of heat seeking missiles. Alright, so there was something weird going on. So... Wing A and Wing B, okay. Now it should be gone. Okay, the mouse is not visible, that's good, only for me. There was something weird in the corners and I don't know what caused it. So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Yep, that was German. He says he he loves capitalism. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Ivani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out just in... No. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Well, you have a bionic eye now, so it should be good. So last time you hadn't had your enhancements with you? Why though? I mean, from the very first mission, the game was felt already amazing. If the game can keep that up, 
Oh man, uh, am I and you in for a treat? Oh, now he looks like Mega Man. <laughs> Landed safely, huh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solid gun radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. All right then. So I do know I have always Kevin. What is that? Looks like a war zone out here. The palace oh. cleared out quick when Dolzayev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely going to see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. Okay. Control, it's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or Octocamo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damaged, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap to manage. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. No. Nope. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just do not get reckless. Stay safe and stay focused on your mission. I go full berserk. How are we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audiovisual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Roger that. Let me know if you change your mind. Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster, or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. You're right. Thanks. Okay. Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more uh, messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. 
Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. What? Indeed. Indeed. No? The platter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, what? everywhere. Well, That's anyway, not true. By actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? It's no, no. What? That would be news to me. I live in Germany, and there, uh, no, no. Splatter and Go is not very high on the list. In German, they enjoy in Germany here. Okay, begin customization. You will restart story mode from the last. Okay. Well then, let's see what we can customize here. Custom body. Oh, okay. We can we can be Gray Fox. It's actually pretty cool. Custom cyber girl body white. Self recover with nano paste and electrolyte packs. A large amount of cyber healing to allow the white custom body to excel in the force support role. Mine's one of the medical support personnel's uniform. His fight against okay. What does this do? With a multi-purpose RPG launcher and a portable SAM missiles built in the screen custom cyborg body. Back to the outdoor BDUs worn by the infantry soldiers. Okay. Main weapon. So we can get the fox blade. Which seems to be kind of crazy in terms of damage. And of course the enhancements here, which are all too expensive. Currently. Here I can increase my life. Fuel cells. The skills seem to be the more important things to have here. Let's see, what do we have here? Aerial parry. Raiden's cyborg body firmware that improves balance while airborne, enabling him to parry enemy attacks in midair. Defensive offense. An updated version of Wayne's cyborg body firmware. Faster, more detailed feedback to be delivered to his brain. Allows Wayne to freely sidestep enemy attacks in any direction and effectively counter their aggression. Sky high. Ba -ba -ba, that improves reaction speed, enabling a special upward thrust with the weapon held in his foot. Okay. Body enabling him to channel air pressure into a shockwave. Thunder strike. Okay, so the most interesting thing is the aerial parry and the defensive offensive. I don't know which of them I want to have first though. Defensive offensive or aerial parry? Ah, let's go with defensive offensive first. And then next time I go with the air parry. Wait, there's still body upgrades? Well, doesn't matter, I guess. Raiden, you landed safely. Okay, shut the fuck up. Um, oh yeah, help. There we go. Because here we can see what we actually have. So we have a launcher, slight doing light attack. Slight pause, then X. This strong attack, white back kick. Okay, triple kick, flowy kick. Tornado slash. Oh! Y and X. Okay, stab kick. Oh god, this is, looks as complicated as in Devil May Cry. Double kick, upswing, throat slicer. Ankle slicer. Heel drop, ro rolling thunder. Y slide, pause, then Y. Mid air slice. Okay, question slice. Head cracker. 
Defensive offense. Okay, it's X and A. That's easy enough. First head in. That's cool. The waypoint is marked on your solid on radar. Contact us on codec if you have questions. Oh, that's cool. I can do that in any direction. I'm at manual and codec. Oh well then. Well, let's go. Wait though. I wanna see what my boundaries are. What are my boundaries? Will there be any Oh god, the frame is killing me. Maybe I should lower some some settings. Maybe I should do that. I think I lower some settings. Let's see, what can I can I lower here? Hmm. I think the shadows. Mm, the Zen time. This is the most awesome thing, so I will keep that. I think I hold that and I hold that. Oh, let's see. Maybe it helps. There we go. Maybe it helps. Maybe it don't. I will see soon enough. Hello. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you. Eh? Barrier to very incoming hits. Throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Okay. Huh. Bury at just the right moment to deflect an attack and expose your enemy to counterattack. How can I? Get off. Oh! Right. Whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collateral damage. 